This wide squat 14 year old was a forward with the Racquet Club rep team. Good enough to be a rep player, but not a star. Still, Mel Bridgman had those intangibles which, sooner or later, separate a player from the rest of the pack desire, determination, and pride. He kept on improving through the minors, although still undistinguished, and then at age 16 stepped up to Junior B with the Victoria Cubs. That's when the Cougars spotted him. They called him up for four games, and the following season assigned him to the Nanaimo Clippers, where he averaged almost two points per game. Hustle was his trademark, and he had a goal and an assist in another four games with the Cats. Finally, he made the big club's roster in 1972-73, and while he scored 26 goals and racked up 65 points, still no one would have ever tabbed him as a top draft pick. No one, including Mel, was prepared for his goal-a-game season in 1974-75, 66 goals in 66 league games, and another 12 in 12 playoff games. Add 91 assists, and that's 157 points in the regular season and the WHL scoring championship. He tied with Brian Trottier as all-star center and made the national junior team for the world tournament where he scored four goals and had an assist as Canada won silver. Patty Janelle's Cougars won 47, lost 18, and tied five en route to first place overall in the WHL. But they were no match for Punch McLean's just as tough New Westminster Bruins, who upset Victoria four games to two in that rough semifinal series. Mel Bridgman has a place in hockey history as Victoria's only top NHL draft choice ever and the first ever BC product to be taken number one. It was the Stanley Cup champion Philadelphia Flyers who called his name in the 1975 amateur draft. Suddenly, the lightly regarded bracket club rep was centering Terry Crisp and the legendary Mad Dog Kelly on the Broad Street Bullies. A scrappy center, Mel bent the twine 23 times in his rookie year, then added 14 points in the playoffs as the Flyers reached the finals again. But that was also the time of Scotty Bowman's Montreal Canadiens, and Shutt, Lafleur, Lemaire, and Dryden chose that year to start their run of four straight Stanley Cup titles. It was also the beginning of Stanley Cup frustration for Mel Bridgman. Mel spent over six seasons with Philly and was captain in 1979-80 when they went on a record 35-game unbeaten streak. They reached the finals again, only to run into another team embarking on its own dynasty, the New York Islanders. In November 1981, Mel was traded to the Calgary Flames, even up for Brad Marsh. He settled into his new home with 75 points in 63 games, and they made the playoffs, but were upset by the Canucks in the first round. After another first-round exit the next year, the Flames dealt him to the New Jersey Devils, where he gave them three straight seasons of 20 goals or more. Late in 1986-87, the Detroit Red Wings picked him up for the stretch drive to the playoffs, and his work ethic made him a perfect fit with Jacques Demers. They made the semifinals that year and the next, as Mel was assigned to a checking line in that second season. When his contract expired, Mel went to Switzerland and played there before signing as a free agent with the Canucks in 1989. They too were making a run for the playoffs and found themselves facing the white-hot Calgary Flames in the first round. That series was such a mismatch, Jim Taylor predicted before it started that it would be the first seven-game series to be decided in three. So it was considered a major upset that the Canucks pushed the Flames to the limit. But the Cowtowners survived that scare and went on to win the Stanley Cup. Mel Bridgman went to the Stanley Cup playoffs in 11 out of 14 seasons in the NHL. He played more than 1,100 games in the bigs and only two in the minors. When his playing days were over, he was the first general manager of the Ottawa Senators and later became an agent. We're delighted to induct into the Greater Victoria Sports Hall of Fame the only Victorian to ever top the NHL draft and a league stalwart, Mel Bridgman. <laughs>